Hi, my name is Sheila Dancho and welcome to my kitchen. So what's cooking in my kitchen tonight? Well, I just wanted to show you what I'm actually making for dinner tonight. And I am making moose meatloaf. So my, as those of you who know me, my husband is a hunter and my dad was a hunter and his dad, so my grandpa was a hunter and my great grandpa was a hunter. So we've been from a line of hunters. And this moose was shot by my husband. Hello, welcome. Was shot by my husband this fall way up north in Manitoba somewhere, some flying place that he went with Jackson's heir. And uh, anyway, he shot this beautiful moose. Now, um, my, I'm the founder of the Get Healthy program, and my Get Healthy program is all about helping you have the vitality and energy that you're looking for. So can you imagine jumping out of bed? No, not just springing out of bed at six o'clock in the morning, fully alert, ready to go. Well, that's how I am every single day and it drives my husband crazy. So I am showing you my lifestyle and how I can help you have that same vitality. So one of the things we do is we eat a lot of wild game. Now, if you say, Sheila, hey, I don't know how to get any moose meat or deer meat or that's okay. That's cool. You could do this recipe with lean ground beef. Make sure you get the lean ground beef. Okay. So it's the same recipe, lean ground beef. Now, what I love about this recipe is that it's gonna be low glycemic, super low glycemic because it's meat. There's no breadcrumbs in it. I'm gonna use oatmeal instead. So that means it's gluten-free. I like to make foods that are gluten-free, low glycemic, super easy and fast to make. Does that sound great? Super easy and fast, Woo, throw it all together. Uh, now I like wild game. I like moose uh, particularly, it has a nice flavor and it's super duper 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 lean. There's no omega-6 fats in it, which are inflammatory. They it, as, it has a little bit of fat, which is omega-3 fats, which are anti-inflammatory, which are way healthier for your body. Plus it's definitely organic, okay? So super easy to do. I have two cloves of garlic. I'm gonna throw in here, I pre-minced them. Now these are big, big cloves. I love garlic and I grow my own. I plant my garlic in the fall so that uh, it's gonna be coming up very soon. As soon as the snow is gone, that was little garlics will be poking up. Um, so I love garlic. Uh, this is one whole onion that is pre-chopped. And now you could just chop, 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 or I use a food processor, make it super easy. I buy the onions that, uh, well, first of all, I grow my own, but I'm out already this time of year. So I buy the onions that are uh, non-tier, but I still cry. And then we're gonna have a cup of uh, quick rolled oats. Again, gluten-free, rolled oats is gluten-free. One egg, keep it all together. And then I'm going to add um, half a teaspoon of salt. And I like pepper, so I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of pepper. And this is a really simple recipe. You could add more spices if you want, but the magic ingredient, and this is what my mom always used, tomato soup. Campbell's tomato soup, super easy. Again, we want to have super easy, simple meals that uh, the whole family is going to love. And I mean, we could do something way more complicated. Uh, and I do sometimes cook way more complicated, but I just don't show those on the cooking show because I want these simple for you to use. So just dump in this can of Campbell's soup tomato. And somehow the tomato flavor goes really well with mousse. So I'm just gonna dump that in and just mix that around and that's it. So just mix it really, really well. Um, so it's gonna take a bit to mix. So, you know, coming from a line of hunters, um, you know, I, I love wild game. And if you know how to prepare wild game, it's, it can be very tender, it can be very flavorful. Uh, if, I, if I'm cooking like a moose steak, I'll marinate it and generally some sort of like olive oil along with some uh, red wine or like red wine vinegar or even just red wine or um, apple cider vinegar, uh, you know, some sort of vinaigrette to sort of chew away at the tissue to make it more tender. I'll put different things like maybe soy sauce or Tabasco sauce with it, um, you know, and I'll put like salt and pepper, um, garlic pepper, I mean, garlic powder, onion powder, you know, in my marinade. And same thing with the roast, you can marinate a roast for a couple days in the fridge and that will help pull out any sort of gamey taste as well as help tenderize it. And that's it, so super easy. It's pretty much mixed. 
And so what I'm going to do is I love Pampered Chef. And this is a Pampered Chef pan. I pre-greased it. And I love the clay. I just love baking clay. It kind of holds the moisture in. So I'm just going to put my meatloaf in. Just pat it down. Now that's it. You could just put this in the oven and it would be good to go and quite delicious. But we want to make it extra special, right? And mousse is quite dry because it has very little fat, like I said, and only omega-3s. So we want to add, or at least I want to add, something to make it a little bit more interesting. So I have here a third of a cup of ketchup. Again, we want to make this easy. I could make this from scratch and all this stuff, but we want to make it super easy because we want it easy and delicious, low glycemic, gluten-free. Now this isn't quite paleo um, because of the oatmeal, but if you left out the oatmeal, it would be a paleo recipe, I guess, just as is. But um, So I have one third ketchup, two tablespoons of brown sugar. I have two tablespoons of prepared mustard. I'm just gonna mix that all together. And this is gonna add a little bit more zest to the top, a little more flavor to the top. And again, a sort of sweet tomato-y mustard flavor. And I'm just going to dump this on top. Spread this around. Mmm, it smells great. What a great mustard tomato kind of combination. Sweet and savory. Oops, take it. So ta-da! That is our, mmm, and it smells really great. It has like, again, that tomato-y, mustardy, onion, garlic flavor. So that's it. Hi, Helen, I hope you're enjoying this. So that is it. I'm gonna pop this in the oven, a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes. And it's gonna be just beautiful. It'll be, um, it'll be very flavorful and super healthy for you. So if you like this show, like it, Put some hearts, show me some social media love, comment, and really, if you could share this to your wall, that would be so greatly appreciated. Share my recipes. I have a blast showing you about my healthy recipes in my kitchen. It's so much fun. So show me some social media love, and I will keep showing these recipes. So have a great night, everyone, and uh, get outside and do some walking. It's a beautiful spring day. And, uh, you know, I wear my Fitbit and 10,000 steps a day is my goal. So stay healthy, everyone.